Hello, Ultra Sabers. This is Daniel1988. Um, sorry, this is coming late. I actually got this saber probably four to six weeks ago, but I've been real busy. A lot of stuff's going on, been going on in my life. So, um, with that being said, I will go ahead and show you what I got. Um, so here it is. It's the Sentinel LE V5 which is actually just a larger cousin to my Apprentice LEV5. As a reminder, I got this in um, Sunrise Destiny. Um, still one of my shorter sabers, because I just love the look of it. Um, as you can see, the clear difference between the, um, up, uh, between the Sentinel LEV5 and the Apprentice is it's got the extra neck here. Whereas this one's just straight through. Clearly, it's the longer saber. Um, with both of these, I got the black AV switches. I mean, they come with the AV switches, but I decided to get in black, so it kind of stuck out more. Um, it came with the usual pommel, like this one did. But like this one with a lot of them, I went and swapped it out for my Aeon LEV5 pommel. It looks really nice. Also got it with the gold cover tech wheel to kind of match the gold accenting. And very appropriately with this being a sentinel saber, I got it in sentinel yellow. It's one of, actually one of my favorite colors that Ultra Sabers offers. Um, and I really like it. So it took a while because the COVID-19 obviously has delayed all saber companies and their delivery times. Um, this hilt, unbeknownst to me, when I ordered it, was, I guess, sold out, or it became sold out shortly after I ordered it, so I had to wait a little bit longer to get it. But once I got it, I was real happy with it. Still am. Um, I would definitely qualify this, call it a double-handed saber. So I tend to hold the saber, like, around here with this hand, and then my other hand will go right here. My other hand tends to go around here, around here to give me a good two-handed hold. So, but it's a real good saber, I really love it. Like I said, it's like a bigger cousin, bigger twin for this for this guy here, the Apprentice LAV5. And um, obviously, I, as you can see, I got it in the stunt setup, no sound. Um, and so I just wanted to say thank you, Ultra Sabers. Um, I know a lot of people are complaining about the wait times, etc., etc., but I can just tell you, I can promise you from my experience with Ultra Sabers that um, you're going to get a good product. Look, we're all struggling monetarily. You know, the Saber companies and companies in general, anything is going to get delayed. So just kind of understand that. Be patient. Um, again, I understand there's a lot of frustration, but, you know, believe me, Ultra Sabers turns out a good product. And... If it's a mistake, um, they will fix it. You reach out to them, they are very good about fixing it. They have, at least in my experience, when I've reached out to their customer service, because I actually have an empty hilt that I want to get some stuff and some electronics installed in, they were able to get back to me within two, three days, two, three business days. So, um, but like I said, you're going to get a product that's well worth it. So, again, thank you, Ultra Sabers, and that's it.